Hey everybody and welcome to the Wolf Pit. Today we're going to use our crock pot again and we're going to make fork tender country style pork ribs and gravy along with some homemade mashed potatoes. So let's get started. We're going to start out by adding a heaping tablespoon of chicken base to our crock. Four large cloves of rough chopped garlic. Two carrots, two stalks of celery, and one yellow onion. And now for the start of the show, four pounds of country style pork ribs that are still frozen. One tablespoon of black pepper. Two bay leaves. And two cups of water. As you can see, our lid does not fit because the pork is still frozen. But within 45 minutes to an hour, the pork will be thawed out enough to where we can push it down into the broth where it belongs for the rest of the cook. So we're gonna set our timer now for six hours, and we're gonna come back in 45 minutes to an hour and make sure our pork is all thawed out and down in the broth for the remaining of the cook. So after a little over an hour, our pork is thawed out enough to where we can just push it apart here and get it down into the broth now we're going to put the lid back on and let it finish cooking for six hours or until it's fork tender. After six hours, our pork is done. And it's not done to the part where it's just falling apart and mush. It's still got a little bit of texture to it. So we're going to go ahead and remove it from the broth now and get ready to make our gravy. Now I'm going to go ahead and fish out all the bay leaves I put in four, so I need to get out four. Now I'm going to take my stick blender and puree all the vegetables in with the broth to make our gravy. Now I'm adding a quarter cup of cornstarch slurry to thicken up the gravy. Once the pork is back in the gravy, we're going to let it cook for another 30 minutes and we'll be ready to eat. I almost forgot to do a final adjustment on seasoning, so we're going to add a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper. There you have it. Our country style pork ribs, gravy, and homemade mashed potatoes are done. Let's break off a piece of this and see how it turned out. Very tender, very moist. That is melting your mouth goodness. The pork is so tender, so moist. Look at that, just falling apart. Well, I hope you guys give this a try. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you next time.